Welcome to Discovery Garden Pattaya. My name is Hans Fritschi. Today we are going to smoke some ham. And this is the result that you will see by the end of the day. the meat uh, we have cured uh, in the fridge for uh, 10 days now and we are going to open it you see it the color the meat has been under water all the time thanks to this plate that pushed it down and there was no air could reach the meat and now we take this out you see this is all together about over six kilos I mean we don't eat that all ourselves but it's a nice present for friends the meat has hardened it's uh, more reddish than it used to be and now we carefully wash it it smells very good good aroma and we put this over here then we take the next one out So it has been in the fridge for 10 days and is now ready to be smoked. Nice, you see all that fat, that's where the taste buds of the human beings are attracted to. It's the fat, not healthy but good. And we will do all that together and then we have to carefully dry it. And just leave it outside the fridge until it reaches room temperature so we'll be back in about two hours i would say and then we can seriously start smoking the hand that smells already wonderfully Before you can smoke the ham, you have to cure it. And I'm going to show you that now. Uh, 10 days ago, I took all these pieces of uh, color, uh, which is more fatty than, I like it like that, than, for instance, the pork loin. I show you how to do with pork loin. It's absolutely the same process. So we might as well take this one uh, as a sample it's 800 grams pork loin and the most important thing here is this kind of salt it's a nitrate salt uh, it in a way you can imagine it like cleans the meat huh? and that's the most important part we got 800 grams of pork loin and uh, for that uh, we need about 50 grams of nitrate salt we put it all in here in the container then we add some garlic powder i mean you cannot take too much it's just such a wonderful spice garlic 
helps against vampires, by the way. And here we have some uh, chopped bay leaves that goes in here as well. And since I have been living in Asia for 30 odd years, I always add a little bit of chili. You know, this is something I got a liking for over the years. So, now we add about some water. It's just uh, tap water. It's, uh, you know, it, it mixes now with, with uh, all these spices and the salt. Most important thing is the salt. It, in a way, it cleans the, the meat. It doesn't spoil. If you salt anything, then uh, bacteria and all these bugs, they, they die because they cannot tolerate the salt. Then you put your, in this case, pork loin. Not too much fat, so people that like to eat uh, less calories, they would opt for such a piece. And you, you make sure it is fully covered with water, because this way the air cannot come there and start the process that uh, would spoil it. And then you close this and it goes into the refrigerator for 10 days. And you have seen what we did afterwards. We take it out, wash it. So this one has to stay now in the fridge for another 10 days and we will smoke that some other day. Now at Discovery Garden Patria we are in a very privileged situation when it comes to smoking. Of course we want to use local materials, tropical wood. And you see this is a well pruned cocoa tree. We have cut off the branches, the side branches, and we'll cut them off completely once the fruits are ripe but it is important to have one main stem uh, then you can uh, reach a high yield and you see the the flowers of the cocoa tree they come from the stems flower over here bomb and uh, so we of course this we chop off here because it would take energy away from the main stem but we are not going to throw this away this is no waste here is a sample of a cocoa tree that was growing uh, wrongly you know there was a side branch here that was cut off and Kunrat, uh, he will cut it now in pieces uh, like this or even smaller and we do not waste it and uh, as you can see we cut off another side tree here and another side tree here so to have two main uh, branches that are uh, fully operational that will deliver here our new uh, tut -tut, uh, new flowers coming and that's what we have to do and he is now this is our chief gardener from what he is going to cut it into nice pieces so we can use that wood for the smoking process. We will add different other tropical woods and uh, maybe if you don't have access to uh, tropical wood, uh, 
he could send you some pieces or to he could uh, chip make a mix for you if you are interested just contact us and uh, if you have no access we have plenty of uh, tropical smoking material here at discovery garden patea now this is uh, another rare plant that we cultivate it at discovery garden patea it's called sea grapes yes you have heard right it's called Ooh. Cocoloba uvifera. Wow! It's a sea grape. You know, I saw this tree first time in Rio de Janeiro in the beach. And I was, in a way, uh, confused because it had fruits. You see, there is a, a lone, lone, lone fruit. But here, over here, there are new uh, new fruits coming and uh, it tastes like grapes it looks like grapes and you can eat them and yesterday we had to chop down one of those that was in the way to our new uh, stable for the geese and we will chop it up too and use it as a smoking agent when we do our ham today. We are now in front of our nutmeg trees and also from them we can take some branches, you know, uh, under branches from here, smaller ones, and uh, we have to cut them anyway in order to get uh, the trees fruiting. And you know, they have been about eight years old, and they some of them just start fruiting now. And which ones? You know, uh, almost like in real life, male trees of the nutmeg family, they are useless. Forget it. They are worth nothing. You can cut them down once uh, you know, you can identify them. And how do we identify them? They are starting to flower and fruit. Here you see the lush green of the nutmeg trees. And uh, we started since we have enough water through, thanks to the new well, we can water them enough and they start having new leaves. And this one over here, if I zoom in slowly, you can see has one nutmeg fruit already. It's uh, the green thing. It will turn yellow when ripe and open up. And there will be a red, uh, a decorative red skin around the nutmeg nut and uh, that's also uh, a spice it's called mace and uh, in a few weeks this uh, fruit here will be ready to go if you take a close look you can see the flowers the delicate small flowers developing here so this is definitely a female plant and we will only cut off some some small some small branches of this one but not cut it down and make uh, smoke wood with this one there seem to be some more over here where are they oh here you see you can see 
here, up here, here, these are the nutmeg flowers that develop and uh, will fruit and produce the famous spice nutmeg and mace. This small tree here has uh, many flowers as you can see when you walk around. Here are some and over here is a, a bigger one already. So this is really coming nicely. Uh, it took them a long time but now we are rewarded. Nutmeg. Of course we want to try one piece of ham right tonight because uh, we <laughs> cannot wait. <laughs> Greedy, greedy. And what is better with a, with a ham from the oven than a potato salad? And I'm going to show you a, a simple recipe, but uh, that's the German, the Bavarian potato salad, actually. And uh, there are two uh, schools of salt when it comes to potato. Salad. First we have to wash them of course, that's uh, universally true with potato salad and then we will carefully boil them to perfection and uh, then when we have chopped them, peeled, chopped and uh, Ready to warm down, we add hot broad. I take beef broad, you can take chicken broad if you prefer. And you add that broad when the potatoes are still warm. That's the secret, you know, because if the potatoes are still warm and the broth is added, they will suck in that delicious broth and uh, that makes the big difference for potato salad. And I mean in northern Germany they will add a lot of a lot of mayonnaise to the potato salad, but in the Bavarian style or what we used to eat at home, you only add mustard, no mayonnaise. And we are going to make this Bavarian potato salad right today. Okay, we are now ready to put the ham in. This is the biggest one piece. Mm, very nice, probably about two kilo. We 
see the fire is nice down there. Now we take the freshly chopped wood to make a nice smoke here. Smoke is starting to develop and we will soon close the door. Right now. You see it's from the chimney in the back. The Smoke is coming out and we leave this here now for, let's say, half an hour first time. We are ready to start the potato salad now. You see the potatoes have been boiled and now have to be peeled. easy. The problem is with uh, these potatoes here in Asia you never know how firm they will be and uh, sometimes the potato salad is more like potato mesh. Yeah, this should be quite okay. And we chop them up in pieces. Still the potatoes are firm, but not too firm. Now we add that important part. This is the hot broth. And we put it right in here, in this bowl. You can add more if necessary and now we add the chopped potatoes. Take the next one. Okay, we have uh, sliced up uh, quite quite some already, and you know the uh, the plate stays in a in an under plate that is filled with water, so the ants cannot attack it because this happens in tropical countries. If you try to make a potato salad 
in a tropical country. Be aware of the ants. Okay, the last potato, a big one, uh, has been sliced and is added into this uh, big bowl. Oh, there's some, no, there's not. And you see there is still some broad and uh, this will be over time be sucked in by those potatoes and uh, when this has happened we will finish the potato salad. One hour has passed and we are ready to take a first look at uh, what our ham is doing inside the smoke oven and okay looking good huh? it has taken some color already but uh, of course can need some more and uh, i think we add some more smoking material from our tropical wood Okay, the smoke is still coming out well, and uh, we'll have another look. Wow, very nice, very nice. Oh, I just sliced some onions and uh, they attack my, my eyes a little bit. I'm in tears, but... Uh, these are tears of joy in a way because we are preparing the wonderful potato salad. If you have a look uh, and go close, then you see the liquid we had uh, before is uh, almost gone. And that is uh, fine because the potatoes have taken in the, the, uh, the broth. And now we add mustard. I use this Tommy mustard uh, from Switzerland, it's my favorite mustard, uh, if I didn't have that I would probably go for a Dijon, Dijon mustard that is widely available in, in, in Thailand, add some pepper, add some aromat, this is uh, mo uh, monosodium glutamat, other people don't like it, I like it. So, then we have some Maggi. And I have some dried salad herbs from Switzerland. I use them. If you don't have them, that doesn't matter at all. But uh, it gives somewhat the uh, color. And then we, I take a white wine vinegar for this. And we just add to the mustard in order to dilute, 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 not delete. That's delete is computer. So we dilute the mustard. I'm still crying because of these onions. <laughs> so and now we give that into our salad in our potato salad so everything in there 
And that's the secret. The, this mustard salad sauce will give the really good Bavarian potato salad. Looks good. And as I told you, as you could see in my crying, I love uh, sliced onions and add that. And once uh, it's all mixed, this part is ready to go. As you can see, still no ants could enter the potato salad. It worked out. I'm crying, but I'm. These are tears of joy. Our hams have been in the oven for two and a half hours, and you can see the smoke is still coming out nicely in the background. And let's have a look inside. Still very nice smoke, and uh, I guess we leave most in but uh, take one piece out that we want to make tonight is it this one no uh, maybe that one on top Boom. is this a nice one yeah okay uh, take it out and we'll take it to the oven okay this is the piece we want to try tonight so what we need uh, is to reach about 70 degrees core temperature. At the moment it's 54 going up, 56, amazing, huh? All through smoke and okay, it seems it's 58. This seems to be the final temperature at the moment. Now we will move this uh, into the oven and we have here a temperature of 75 degrees at the moment. So we will very slowly uh, simmer this to perfection. You know, it's I'm closing here now. The oven. It's only at 75 degrees regulated. This shows us how much it is right now. And now we wait for several hours till we reach 70 degrees inside. You know, if you cook it very slowly and easily and maybe most tender. That's what we intend to do. Well, this was quite a day. Uh, I mean, we not only made those hams uh, for storage, but we also slow cooked one piece for eating now, you know, it we put it at 75 degrees and it turned out quite well, at least it looks well. This is that famous Bavarian potato salad and I bought a nice piece of bread at a French baker nearby the house. Mm -hmm. Quite good. Now 
taste the potato salad. I've finished my breakfast. Mm. Just like my mother used to make it. And now we taste the ham. It has a lot of fat in it. It's really nice. Mm. Mm. Just marvelous. Wonderful, not salty. Thai people don't like salty. It's just perfect. So, if you liked what you saw today, please join the Hans Fritschi channel on YouTube or Hans Fritschi friends on Facebook and see you again with things like that very, very soon.